peace, family, peace, family, peace, family, okay? I had to take me a little nap before I came on here just to recharge my energy. So if you ever feel like you need to just stop and relax, if you have like 10, 15 minutes to just chill or just to close your eyes, take a little quick nap, 10 to 20 minute nap will get you right, okay? It's, it's long enough to where you kind of can gain your energy back, but it's short enough to where you don't enter into your REM cycle, which is like your deep sleep, okay? So you can still wake up rejuvenated and start a sluggish or fatigue versus you taking like an hour nap and you having to wake up and you feel like crap, okay? This is not going to be a long reading. I promise y'all, like, I have a client at 1 o'clock. It's 1236. 1, 2, 3. Wow, spirit, thank you. Okay, so definitely the right time. It's never a right time to say goodbye. We gotta go our separate ways. And I just saw one, one, one. So I feel like okay, this is you. You could be turning over a new leaf. I feel like you could be leaving your like a family, like a family dining, family dynamic behind. Um, these could be your co-worker family. This could be your family family or your friend's family. Who is that? Um, it could be about a relationship, but it's more so like a certain part of your life more so that you're leaving behind, okay? Let's see what this is. Spur, oh, two cards came out. Flip on over the Ace of Cups with the Hermit. Huh, I feel like somebody's moving on in this situation. Yeah, I'm seeing the death card right there. And then the full card. So somebody could be moving out uh, for the first time. It's, it's. I feel like there was never a right time to do something. But I feel like something is going to happen. And I feel like it's, this is what's going to be the spark. This, this moment, like this moment in your life is going to be like the turning point for, for love. Your turning point for... Um, advancement um, in your life, like enjoyment in your life. Um, this is like a refreshing energy. Things that could have, things that could have been uh, emptying your cup, or not giving you pleasure, or not giving you like excitement. I feel like in this situation, you're gonna, um, as you move on, you're going to be feeling more rejuvenated um some of y'all are coming out of isolation some of y'all are coming out of this um solitude energy uh i just heard something about not making a certain mistake okay don't worry too much about the mistakes okay don't focus on the things that can go wrong focus on the things that can go right all right don't work it don't don't work <sighs> don't listen to the fears. Don't think about the fears. You know, be precautious, you know, but you can't let fear run your life. When you run off faith, 333, yeah, shit comes into alignment, okay? Operate, yeah. Y'all could, I'm telling y'all, y'all are, this could be about a job. Oh my God, this could be about love. Look, the king and the queen of pentacles. Y'all are both of high honor. Yeah, y'all don't y'all 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 are being put in a certain position in your life right now to meet somebody. Um this could be meeting somebody of the same like caliber. Ooh, I like that word. Um y'all could be meeting somebody of the same caliber as you. Cause even if this is not this is not talking about your money, right? This is talking about vibrations. This is talking about the energy of of people, the energy of situations. So you're being put in a situation that matches who and what you are and what you are in alignment with so mm. these are two people who love themselves admire themselves these are two people have who have been putting in the work together i mean i said together so i don't, you could be with this person right now or this could be who you meet but i feel like y'all been putting in the work individually so y'all can get to each other a pair of cups, yeah, this is somebody you do. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. The temperance with the ten of wands. Mm-hmm. 
Sagittarius energy. So y'all are very like y'all co-create very well. Y'all get along very well. There's a lot of harmony in this situation. There's no burdens. There's no weight here. Wow. I feel like y'all were very still. Y'all have been very patient. Um, y'all have been really like fo like there's gonna be like a lot of like, there's gonna be like a focus here. There's gonna be like a like like I'm on you, you on me, like. I'm not gonna say it. it's not giving like obsession where it's like oh locked in and shit but y'all kind of like y'all know like that's y'all are where y'all want to be at if that makes sense it's very like y'all are fun and flirty with each other but y'all I feel like y'all are focused on each other like there might not be like y'all might not talk you know like talk to anybody else um yeah yeah mm. Y'all could, like, communicate about certain things from your past. And I feel like there's no, like, um, there's no animosity towards your past. There's no, like, it's just y'all be having conversations. And I feel like that's what makes y'all, like, that's what made y'all grow. So the fact that y'all can talk about it and not be triggered or the fact that y'all can talk about it and still, like, you know, be cool. Because I don't know, like, I don't know. Y'all are not taking things, like, too personal. Um... Y'all are having, like, really open-minded open, open -minded conversation, open-hearted conversations, okay? Because now the Ace of Cups is in the upright when it was in the reverse. I feel like you're, you're, there's, like, a change in your favor when it comes to love. <laughs> With the Two of Cups and this King of Disc. So this could be literally someone who vibrates on your frequency y'all are y'all are hard workers y'all could be entrepreneurs y'all are definitely like in y'all field like y'all could meet in your field of industry that you work in um y'all have certain specialties or certain qualities about yourself that are endearing and admiring y'all are both very nurturing uh very uh generous i'm hearing uh go big on big like y'all spoil each other damn with the blockage oh shit Wait, is this the world? No, it's the, it's the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it it could have took a while for you to find this person or to get into this energy. Or if this is not about a person, this is about the energy within yourself. I feel like if you're like we're working on like mother issues, like mommy issues, and I feel like now you are you kind of got this balance going on. So. Let's say the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing, caring, right? But then the King of Pentacles is the one that kind of like disciplines. So maybe you are coming into the situation of nurturing yourself and also having the discipline about your money, okay? You've nurtured your money. You can maintain your money. So this is really like you co-creating for yourself to put you in a better space than you were ever in your life. And that's, that's so freaking crazy because literally... I heard I can't I told my and the funny thing is I told my mom and my dad about this and it that's hilarious and like that's so divine I told my mom and my dad that I, at separate times of the day that I listened to the Isley Brothers yesterday and the song blessed be the child and my mom said wow you know that's funny because my grand like my granddad um passed away but she was saying that he would always tell her that he would always tell her and my auntie, like, blessed be the child who has her own. Like, never depend on a man for nothing. Even if you are married, like, you can always have your own. And then when I told my dad, he was like, yeah, you know, it's good to be responsible, be disciplined, you know, gain some type of independence for yourself. So I feel like in this situation where you are trying to um, co-create for yourself and be self-sufficient and, and and make something of yourself i feel like that is exactly what's happening and if you and, and if you are looking for love like if you are wanting a person let me say it's going to work out to where you are literally in alignment with that person as well because they've also done the work um to attain certain goals okay just like yourself Jenny, let's see. Her card is cute. Whoa, 
the Ace of Swords. So yeah, you're getting out there. <laughs> you're getting out there. Okay, I feel like y'all are putting yourself out there. Y'all being more sociable. Y'all talking a lot more. Um, yeah, some of y'all just need to have that little upgrade. One, one, one. I'm telling y'all, y'all are about to be having some very new beginnings in your life okay and it's gonna be kind of shocking to you and it might come kind of fast 10 t yo 10 20 i've been seeing 10 20 10 is the 10 and 20 is the judgment in the world card right yeah y'all yeah, are definitely gonna be feeling some very powerful shifts because we're about to go into this new year bruh and i feel like with this new year is a lot y'all are leaving behind the past i was gonna say but i was like spirit i would have to see it so the five we saw the four of cups and we saw the ace of cups right the five of cups is about uh we talked about it we did talk about it we did talk about it the past and i feel like this is going to be the shift that gets you to let go of your past this is what is going to actually give you the optimistic i guess like it starts with your mind and it starts with your feelings and i feel like it really starts with how you are viewing the, the point of your life you know what i'm saying 11 11 like you're really awakening not to just how things are seen on the practical plane like on the 3d like this is you gotta remember we are in, we are spiritual people right we are spiritual individuals operating um operating on a physical plane so we're 5D individuals operating on the 3D, but we still have to see things from a 5D perspective. So, all this time, you know, and I feel like just like the laws of gravity and the laws, the universal laws, like, that are same in place, we got medical laws, um, I feel like spiritual law does never won't change it won't ever change based off of just anything so the law that everybody we talk about is rejection is god's protection the reason why things don't work out is because something else is for you okay if it's for you it will be for you okay and i feel like sometimes it's hard that's a hard truth to accept that's a hard pill to swallow but like the ego might want something different or the ego might feel something different but the fact of the matter is those universal laws will not change what's for you will always be for you and you attract what you are so if you are working yourself you are you if you are going through a period in these phases of self-development baby trust and believe if that's what you're wanting in a person that's what you're gonna find baby and you won't have to go looking you will be following the law of alignment okay right time at the right place baby is that my client she looked like she could be my client she look she looked like she could be my client okay i'm gonna go in okay last card tatena god damn the 10 of y'all ain't going um um i don't say I'm not gonna be single for long. I don't know how the song goes, but I feel like somebody's not gonna be single for long. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I said, yeah, baby. Some of y'all could be pregnant. Some of y'all could be a gun. Y'all are gonna have a kid, bro. Six of Pentacles, Six of Spears. Y'all are gonna have a kid. Y'all are y'all could already have a... I'm not... Go oh, he said, I'm not gonna be here for long. Some is a temporary situation. So don't make impulsive situations on a temporary moment. Don't make impulsive... Situ don't make impulsive moves on a temporary situation. God's asking you to slow down, okay? I'm not gonna be here for long. Yeah, but this situation is longevity with this Ten of Pentacles here. Mm, yes, do not make, <laughs> do not make temporary situ like do not make impulsive situ uh, do not make impulsive moves on temporary emotions. Don't fuck with that person if that person don't feel right. If they moving too fast, don't do it. If you get anxiety about something, don't do it. If you cannot have a clear cut answer to something, don't do it. Okay, she's giving Hawaii right now. Like, she's, it's the thing her, oh, I gotta tell her. I gotta tell her. Go off of, see, because we talk about going off for feelings. See, because now we're seeing the Queen of Wands. So, making sure you're operating from, we see the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. They match, but that's low vibrational. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
the queen and the, the king of pentacles they were high vibrational so don't this is not the time okay because i'm talking to me i'm talking to y'all this is not the time to operate out of this energy but this is not just like the queen of wands is seen as promiscuous the queen of wands is seen as like a bitch the queen of wands like this is not the time this is the time to be confident in yourself the time to love on yourself the time to be bold okay this is the time to be look because i feel people are looking at you for people are looking i don't know people are definitely looking at you people want to see you in a certain light when you're not even like that that's so funny like people might see you as promiscuous or people might see you first of all it's none of their business what you do anyway but because honestly seven of wands i feel like you're protecting your energy yes y'all are protecting your energy for this king of pentacles baby some of y'all are celebrating y'all right it is so funny because if they see you as promiscuous baby you're not even having sex like what the fuck you're abstinent okay some of y'all could be virgins but i just said what did i just say celibate whatever the word is y'all ain't having sex okay y'all ain't having that and y'all are really not giving your energy to just every little thing that pass you away and i feel like the only reason why someone would think that about you is because they're trying to project energy onto you because that's how they feel about themselves the world card baby you're in a different energy and we talked about what the world the judgment in the world so i definitely feel like there's a situation that's coming to an end and somebody's being unlocked um i feel like somebody's being free to move free to create free to engage okay so unlocking yourself from fear the fool and taking a leap of faith i heard progress makes per progress practice makes progress so I feel like everything leading up to this time period in your life was literally just practice. And then I'm hearing practice by Drake. I can tell that you've been practicing. And that doesn't even have to be sexual because I'm not really. And I feel like when you're coming from a space of like your inner child and like the Ace of Cups is like this renewed energy. Not everything that they portray as sexual is really sexual. It's just energy. Sex is healing. So... I, he, that song I could tell that you've been practicing literally people can tell that you've been putting in the work to into yourself and that shit's attractive as fuck okay so you're literally attracting people into your energy because you are working on yourself which is very just you look good you feel good you smell good I feel like because you're working on yourself you feel good so you're affirming to yourself you're at peace like that's attractive as fuck don't nobody want nobody who's all over the place and chaotic and disruptive and destructive you're just gonna align yourself with people who are like that too but if you're really like in your own lane minding your business getting your money working on yourself doing whatever you got to do for you and your family and the ones around you that's you're low-key you're minding your business like you're gonna meet somebody who's also doing the same thing okay any last messages spirit okay oh they had a bonnet on yeah coming out of a space emotionally yeah you don't want that energy you don't want that king of wands energy okay you rather stay quiet and to yourself because i feel like you're uh, you are no longer in that energy yeah somebody might see you mm. Mm. i hope that's not mine seven of um seven of swords that's what i'm saying i feel like lies deception somebody might be looking at you in the wrong way just they they someone needs to take a moment of reflection or realizing that not everybody is like them not everybody has your heart in a night in a, in a in a derogatory way and in a enlightening way if that makes sense like you can say not everyone has your heart well yeah not everybody is deceiving or not everybody is as generous you kind of just gotta know where your heart space is lying right knowing that you, where your motives are at okay if you, where do you have you know are the are the intentions in this situation right or this does this situation um have ulterior motives surrounded by it you know what i'm saying so when it comes to sex and like that like be honest like if you just want to have sex have sex if that situation calls for you to just have sex and not be in a relationship do that for sure if y'all 
oh <laughs> i'm reading text message um yeah man y'all y'all gotta talk about that but if you're not if you're not in the alignment of doing that be honest with people you know, don't don't settle for anything that you're not willing to invest in long term if you're looking for something long term. But if you want to just have sex, you know, no judgment. You got to be honest and you will eventually find somebody who just wants to have sex. Um, but when it comes to like this energy, I wasn't really picking up on the sex just because it was there. It was almost because someone's like balancing out their energies and somebody that could have been really like high, like even hypersexuality is a trauma response okay um and look security security delay ended my phone was on a uh, on a security lock and it just stopped so y'all are literally unlocking codes okay yes because we're talking about hyper hypersexuality is based off of an unstable foundation right um realizing that you might only need you could only have sex with people just based off of um that's how I would get them to like me or that's how I establish foundations or I, I have to have sex with them before I can really form a deep connection. Like it doesn't really work like that. It can work like that. But most of the time, the things that end that uh, for me personally, like they've always they didn't end well. So I'm realizing like. I want something long term. I that's something that I will have to sacrifice. I will have to, you know, let go of because it's that's not the goal here the goal is to build with somebody okay with the queen and the king of pentacles energy that's long term longevity like that's based off of like that's solid okay and the king of king and queen of wands energy is not solid especially if it's in the reverse that's very low vibrational so that's all i got to say y'all <laughs> i feel like some of y'all could definitely be healing sexual traumas some of y'all could be healing um mommy and daddy issues y'all could be healing y'all's relationship with finance y'all could be healing y'all relationship with love with your home with your family i feel like it's this like well-rounded energy to y'all that uh is really appreciative god is really appreciative of the work that y'all are putting into yourselves and you are going to come into alignment with the things that represent you wholeheartedly okay i love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next one peace